Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is Mark chapter 14, verses 53 to 72. Now, in the previous passage, Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss, and he was arrested by a crowd with swords and clubs. One of Jesus' disciples drew a sword and was ready to fight. But in the end, all the disciples deserted Jesus. In today's passage, Jesus stands trial before the Jewish leaders of the Sanhedrin. They question Jesus so that they can accuse him and deem him worthy of punishment by death. Now before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Lord, we just thank you for the time we have right now to dig into your word together. I pray, Lord, that you would speak to us and help us understand what, we, what you want to teach us through your scriptures today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 14, verse 53. They took Jesus to the high priest, and all the chief priests, the elders, and the teachers of the law came together. Peter followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest. There he sat with the guards and warned himself at the fire. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for evidence against Jesus so they could put him to death, but they couldn't find any. Many testified falsely against him, but their statements did not agree. Then some stood up and gave this false testimony against him. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with human hands, and in three days we'll build another not made with hands. Yet even their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent and gave no answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? I am, said Jesus, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. The high priest tore his clothes, why do we need any more witnesses, he asked. You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as worthy of death. Then some began to spit at him. They blindfolded him, struck him with their fists, and said, Prophesy! And the guards took him and beat him. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also were with the Nazarene Jesus, she said, but he denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about, he said, and he went out in the entryway. When the servant girl saw him there, she said again to those standing around, This fellow is one of them. Again, he denied it. After a little while, those standing near said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. He began to call down curses, and he swore to them, I don't know this man you're talking about. And immediately the rooster crowed the second time. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoke to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. So what is God saying you today in that passage? Take some time to think about it. Maybe read it over again. And then write down what you're learning in your journal. And don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else.